hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial we learn how to create shared component library in react first of all you have question in your mind what is shared component library right let me explain shared component library bit more shared component library means you can consider as a one kind of react package for private use or you can create public package for the community and you have another question when you need this kind of library instead of write the code into the same repository when you have multiple project with same ui or you are planning to use same ui in future with multiple project that time you can create this kind of shared component library for your react applications so basically you just need to develop this ui library one time and you can use it in multiple time instead of write and copy paste same code in one project to another project and it's very hard to manage if you want to change some ui into the header that time you need to make this change in all project and a lots of time you need to spend for one minor change but you can develop this library make it change at one place install this library in your all applications means update library in all application let me give you one real example creating one shared component library first of all you need to visit this link rvd react component library this is the basic setup for the create the react component library this is already set up with the roll up typescript sas and storybook you can download this code and put in your project and start developing the library so let me go to the download this code from here in my applications let me open i have created a react lpt demo in my previous tutorial and let me edit let's open and extract that downloaded code let's open and extract it here and let's delete this file and rename react component library and let me open into the editor you can see here the basic setup is done now we can install this library in my this react application using the file react component library so let me open package.json file and show you how to install this package in local so let me specify name you can get name from the packet.json you can specify your own name so you can rename it and configure this package.json file based on your requirement with url and a keyword and everything also you can specify own command for script so this is basically set up with the basic configuration i going to install this react component library package now let's specify file and specify the path of the react component library so i'm going to specify it here we no need to specify this slash here file colon and directly specify the folder name and we can install it but i need to install npm this directory and i need to create the build you can see the script here for the build so we need to run npm build before fire this command i need to run npm so let me navigate on the directory react component library and npm install
yes npm and not dependency install successfully so let's clear the terminal and we can run this command now so i'm going to run this command npm run build and build is done let me open and you can see here build is created now we can install this library in my this application and i want to show you the components and you can see here test components and index dot d dot t is created so uh, finally this component included in to the index dot ts and you can see here so we need to import each and every component inside this index dot ts and this is the main file of index dot js here is a variable you can specify all the variables of your ses and typography is css all font declared here one variable created so basic setup given by this repository you can download and put it and start your new react component library also one more thing given by this setup you can generate basic components and then you can modify it with one command so if you want to create one component you just need to fire one command uh, let me show you it's given into the documentation yes you can see here npm run generate your component name so you just need to fire this command with name let me show you so you can see it easily i going to fire generate and specify code and let me show you inside the src directory everything created with css tx card test dot tsx now you need to modify based on your requirement this component so let me show you one more thing we need to add this card component here for import and export so let me import card component from the card and i need to put this card component here and save yes we need to specify two time card because when you create component using this command index dot ts is not d dot ts is not created by default so we need to either we need to add or we need to specify card dot ts because this is the main file and we are exporting this card component from here but in this test component you can see here you can export default from test component from here so index.ts is present that's why we no, no need to specify this file name but into the card component we can create it or directly specify uh, this card component path now i going to specify and modify this card component i have already created card component css and js so i going to use directly from here so i going to copy it from here and update my card component so let me copy this card component and directly replace it with this card component so let me open here and c 
see this card component go to the src no we need to go here src and just need to replace yes replace the destination and now you can see here all the css and everything i already configure i getting two argument from the function means when we use this card component we get two argument name and sub name for the card card title and subtitle i created two class and parent class is box so i created one ui now i going to again build so let me fire this build command again so we can use card component into the our application post css file to import not found unreachable into the src variables so let me check what happened with the css yes i use bootstraps in this card component basically i overwrite the bootstrap cards ui so i need to install this bootstrap package in my this application so i going to install it npm install bootstrap you can see here latest bootstrap version 5.1.3 install in this application means in this component library now i need to correct the path before i replace it here it's outside of the directory so this path based on directory but now we need to rename it so let me remove and make it relative path so when i make a build it's not give any error so let's do it and you can see here we can access from this card css now let me fire build command again and build is creating and build successfully created here inside the directory you can see here build created here now we need to install update into the our application so let's go to the back one step and install npm again latest build of component library npm dependency install successfully let me start npm run start and yes you can see here the localhost 3000 port started so let's refresh and it's working now i going to use that card component here and going to put it here so let's open app.js here and put this card component here and yes let's specify we can specify name is Silesh and let's specify sub name Ladomor and let's save and you can see here card is appear with the red color if i want to change background of this card i can do it with the component so just i want to go here and i just need to change the variable let me use blue so come here and i replace blue with the red blue and 
just a specified blue and I need to create build again so let me go to the react library npm run build I need to go back to the lpt react demo application and let me start project npm run start application is started let's come here and refresh and you can see here background is blue so if you want to use this library in one and more application and if you want to change this card color just go to the library change background color create one new build and update in all application and you get same output in all of the application so you can easily create react application with this basic setup and how we created basic setup with the rollup and typescript and everything so we can easily develop our application i add this link in my video description so you can get easily and other things documented here so you can use it thank you for watching a video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you